Hello everybody! I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. If you aren't, then I hope that this video helps distract you from your misery for even a fraction of your day. My name is Kyle, known online as Wrongside, and today I'm finally going to be recording my thoughts on E3 for you guys. Uh, this is, isn't going to be too long of a video, I'm just going to be going over the highlights and what I'm excited for, and unfortunately there wasn't too many things, so this should be a, uh, a shorter video, so I'm just going to quickly be going over each of the conferences uh, in the order they occurred and giving one highlight from each of them that I am most excited for. And then come the end of the video, I will give a, a top five on overall games that I'm excited for. Um, sorry if I keep looking down, I have notes here that I'm just making sure I, 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 I touch on everything. So before I do get started though, I wanted to give a shout out to Nintendo and everybody who's fans of Nintendo. Um, I actually, that's the only conference that I didn't watch because I don't own a Switch, so I just skipped it. It was also in the morning and my sleep schedule is completely fucked up right now, but I know that all you Nintendo fans are really excited. I saw there were some pretty dope announcements there, so I'm not going to be talking about those in this video just because they don't really relate to me, but I, I, I still know. I still know that you guys are really excited, and probably for any fa anybody who is a fan of Nintendo, they probably won E3. So, anyways, um, first I'm just going to let you guys know what I was most excited about going into E3, and this will kind of give background as to why I was a bit disappointed and don't have many things that I am super excited about, or many things to talk about. Um, so, the two things that I was most excited for, one was the new Avengers game and seeing gameplay for that. The other was, uh, I, I really hoped that they would show new gameplay for the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare that's coming out, and unfortunately, we didn't get gameplay for either of those. They did show Avengers, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, <clears throat> Woo! I have a, uh, a list here in front of me, just so to make sure I don't miss anything. So first was the, the EA Play, I believe that's what it's called. Um, so I, I actually didn't watch all of EA Play. I only watched the first hour or so, uh, which was the new Star Wars and Apex Legends Season 2. Um, I found the Apex Legends Season 2 thing a bit weird because they kind of just said like, oh, we'll, sh we'll show you later for most of the stuff. The only thing we really got was the new, uh, the new Legend. Um, so my, my highlight for EA Play was the new Star Wars. I'm not the, the biggest Star Wars fan, but I am still going to pick up this game because it looked like it could be some fun. Um, and yeah, that that's honestly all I have to say about EA Play. There wasn't really much, much to talk about there. I did it, Papa. The fuck you say to me, you little shit! So next was Xbox's conference, and overall, um, I wasn't blown away. I I I was hoping that it would be a bit better, but it's still of the conferences that I watched. And Microsoft's was still, of course, the best. Uh, that's not saying much, because pff, we'll get to those in a bit. Um, but yeah, Xboxes was was fine. It was solid. I was just hoping that they'd go all out because Sony wasn't there, but I guess it makes more sense to save some of the bigger stuff for when their console's launching next year and when they actually have to compete with, uh, with Sony's conference. <clears throat> so, uh, a few things that I'm excited about from the Xbox conference, uh, Gears 5, of course, the new Blair Witch game. Um, I thought the 12 minutes, uh, indie game looked pretty cool, but unfortunately that doesn't have a release date, so I have no clue when that's coming. Um, and then there was also, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, fuck me, man. Of course, the new, uh, the new Fallout space game, Outer Worlds or something, I'm, I'm not too excited about that. It comes out the same day as COD this year, so I don't know how well that's gonna go for them. However, uh, two big ones was Halo Infinite and Cyberpunk with the Keanu Reeves thing. That was crazy. So my highlight from the Microsoft conference is, of course, Cyberpunk 2077 with Keanu Reeves coming out. That was fucking insane. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's kind of all I have to say about Microsoft. Uh, really, they finally got a release date for Cyberpunk, so I'm excited about that. So next, later in the night, was Bethesda and... Man... Uh, I was really bummed that they, they didn't, I didn't expect them to say much about Elder Scrolls 6. I thought maybe like a teaser video again, like they did uh, a few years ago when they just sort of announced it or whatever. Um, but I was, I was still hoping that they would show something from their, that Starfield, I believe is what it's called, the Starfield game, because that's what they said they were focusing on right now. But then we literally, they didn't even mention it. So I don't know. I, I'm not a fan of Doom, or I have never played one of the Wolfenstein games, and that's like what 
seventy percent of the conference was. So, I uh, <clears throat> I wasn't too uh, too impressed with Bethesda's the Death Loop game from uh, Arcane and the people who made Dishonored. I'm excited for that, as well as the Ghostwire Tokyo from the people who made Evil Within. However, neither of those got release dates either, so they probably aren't even going to come out within the next year. So yeah, Bethesda Bethesda's was kind of a disappointment for me. So next after Bethesda was Devolver Digital, and I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember any of the games they showed. I remember the uh, the Enter the Gungeon, I believe that's the game it was, the arcade machine, but I, I was just so confused about what the hell was going on that I didn't even... I don't even remember any of the games. So after that, I believe was PC gaming show the next morning. Um, again, I don't remember any of the games. They showed a shitload of stuff. Uh, I'm excited and going to play Borderlands 3. I know they showed that. And then other than that, <clears throat> they showed a Planet Zoo, I believe. I'll probably get that because I've always loved the Zoo Tycoon and Coaster games. Um, but other than that, I don't I don't remember anything from that conference. So I'm just going to focus on the, the bigger ones here. So next was Ubisoft. And holy fucking shit this conference was absolute dog shit like past the first 15 minutes i think which is where they they revealed the new watchdogs which i think is pretty cool look at like i don't really understand how they can make it so every single character in the world like there has to be a catch to that every single character in the world has stories and you can play as them and stuff that doesn't really make much sense Dad, you can recruit anyone and all mean bloody anyone. Him, her, everyone is a secret weapon. Find them, recruit them, build the resistance. But we'll, we'll see how that works out when the game comes out, because I'm definitely going to play that. I did enjoy the first two Watch Dogs. Yes, I know. Oh, what the fuck? Enjoyed the first Watch Dogs. But, uh, yeah, Ubisoft's conference was absolute dog shit. My highlight was the new Watch Dogs Legion. Because other than that, I didn't think there was anything at all that excited me. Not the new Ghost Recon game. The fucking Rainbow Six Siege. The new whatever the hell it was. Quarantine or whatever. And I wasn't excited by the Gods and Monsters either. Because like I literally have no clue what it is. So how could I be excited about it? Um, so anyways, yeah, that's Ubisoft. Uh, I thought it was trash. And then next was Square Enix. And... I am not a fan of Final Fantasy games. They're just not my type of game style that I enjoy. So this conference also was fucking dog shit for me because that was 80% of the conference. I literally just sat through like an hour and a half of Final Fantasy shit. I watch, I watch the Square Enix conferences every fucking year for like the last five years, hoping and praying they, they announce a... Uh, a sequel to Sleeping Dogs, and for some reason, I, I'm not losing hope. Every year, I'm still hoping, even though it's not going to happen. Uh, so I just get disappointed by that every year. However, they did finally show Avengers, and man, even by that, I was disappointed. Because, so I had read uh, a leak thing on Reddit that talked about all these features that were in the game and how like every Marvel character was going to be in them and stuff, so I was really excited for that. But then they, I don't know, there's probably going to be more because they did show the Ant-Man teaser, but there's only apparently like five characters that they show. There's there's Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk, and Thor. I th Did they even show Thor? They had to have shown Thor. Um, so that's, that's all that we know. Like, they didn't really show any. I was hoping for gameplay, but they didn't. Like, even the fucking, the cutscene, like, cinematic trailer they showed, it didn't look great. Like, the graphics were underwhelming. Um, and then, by the sounds of it, it's gonna be, like, a Destiny-type game where there's, it's, like, like, I thought it would be story-focused, which it still might, I don't know. But it seems like it's gonna be a Destiny-type game where it's, like, super grindy. And then they, they also announced that they're gonna be doing exclusive stuff with PlayStation, which I, I'm assuming is the Spider-Man stuff, and Spider-Man's my favorite hero, so that just kind of pissed me off. So I was really disappointed by Avengers. I'm definitely still excited to give it a try, and I still have hope, and I am still going to get it, but it was disappointing. So, yeah, while Avengers was still my highlight of the Square Enix con uh, conference, um, I was still overall really disappointed by Square Enix. And then, as I said, I uh, I did not catch the, 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 star the Star Wars, Jesus Christ, the Nintendo conference, unfortunately, so, now that we've gone over all the conferences, I told you guys this was going to be a shorter video because there wasn't too much stuff I was really excited about. Um, I am going to go over my top five games that I am most excited about come 
uh, come the end of E3. So first off, I'm just gonna let you guys know, uh, Call of Duty would probably still be number one, but since it wasn't really shown at all at E3, it's not on my list. There are other games that I'm gonna be buying, such as 12 Minutes I mentioned earlier, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, the Star Wars game coming out this year. However, none of those are on the list, so without further ado, in no particular order, I will give my top five. So, one of them, as I said, is Avengers, even though I was disappointed by what they showed at the conference. I am, oh Jesus, I am still excited um, about playing the game, just playing as all the different heroes. Just flying around as Iron Man, honestly, is super appealing to me. Even if there was no story and it was just a game where you get to fly around as Iron Man, I'd, I'd still buy that, just because it sounds really fucking fun. So, I am still excited about that. Um, another one which I didn't actually mention at all until now was Dying Light 2. The first Dying Light was a lot of fun. I'm excited for the next one coming next spring, I believe, was the release date for that. And I'm for sure going to be getting that game. Uh, so yeah, super excited about that. Another, the, another one that we don't really know a lot about, however I am really excited about, was Ghostwire Tokyo, which was shown at the Bethesda conference, again, made by the people who made Evil Within. When I was watching the the trailer for that that like that game, I legitimately thought that it was a TV show announcement. Like I, I'm a gamer. I've been gaming for a long time. Like I I know usually what when something is graphics and when it's real life. Like I can tell the difference. But this is the first time I think I've ever, like not until halfway through the trailer, did I know that it was a like graphically engineered game. Like, I, I legit thought it was just real life. So I think that game looks really... F like, obviously, the game's not going to look like that, but just because it's made by the people from Evil Within, and it looks like an interesting concept, and I, I like spooky games, uh, I'm really excited about that. Another one, which I also mentioned earlier during the Xbox conference, was Halo Infinite. They, they Halo 5 came out in 2015, so by the time Halo Infinite comes out, it will have been five freaking years since the last Halo. So I have, I have high hopes... Uh, I, I, I haven't been the, the biggest Halo fan in the past, but I did get Halo 5 and I really love the multiplayer in that. So I am excited for, for a new Halo game, finally. Um, I think the, uh, the story concept looks really cool. And yeah, I'm just I'm excited to play that. And then finally, my, uh, my overall E3 winner, of course, is Cyberpunk 2077. That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out, bitches. I'm pretty sure most people would would agree with that. Just be, and it's not even. I mean, let's be honest. It's it's majorly part of because of the uh, the Keanu Reeves appearance, which doesn't really have that much to do with the game. But it is really exciting. I saw that he was actually going to play a pretty decently big part in the game, which is also super exciting. Uh, it's not just like a random cameo where he's only in it for for five minutes or something. So, yeah. Um, the game looks amazing. I'm excited to give it a try. I, I saw the gameplay and the gameplay didn't excite me all that much. However, the story and just the world, I think, will more than make up for that. Um, of course, it's CD Projekt Red. I uh, they, they always make big, some, some pretty good games, I've heard. Uh, I actually still haven't beat The Witcher 3. I gotta end the video now before I get my, my head my head pulled off by the internet. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are excited about in the comment section below. What your overall E3 winners were. If you want to give me your top five, that'd be cool. I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick little recap video on my thoughts and what I'm excited about. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.